right at the beginning of 2019, and thank you, Kathy, and thank you for the panel members. They all uh, accept my invitation to wear something that's fun. And we still have a few hats and, and blowers on the table. And the plan is for anybody who asks questions, you can get one of those. Um, I'm not going to take any more time, but uh, Brain Initiative has been uh, my primary interest for the last three years. Uh, representing the Consumer Elect Electronics yeah. Society, working with the newly formed IEEE Brain Initiative. Uh, so what we have gone through is actually uh, traversing through brain-computer interface uh, to uh, brain data bank, uh, analytics and usability, onto uh, neural networks. Uh, so today, um, I am Narisa Nan Chu, short for Nan, um, together with uh, Jesse Lowell, who sits next to Kathy. We're going to share the results of the last three years um, brain initiative activities, primarily in the uh, competition hackathon, and we have brought out uh, really remarkable uh, uh, results uh, that Jesse is going to share with you given the short period of time um, but we would still like to show you some demo if the hardware works here so let me see what I can advance uh, the brain initiative was founded in fall of 2015 with three co-chairs the lead chair is Paul uh, Jetta and he's with Columbia University uh, together with Jose Camer uh, Carmeno from uh, UC Berkeley and uh, Jacob Robinson from Rice University. The committee is formed by uh, many representatives from the IEEE societies and councils, started from about 13, now growing to 18, uh, also with uh, strong support from IEEE Standards Association, some government agencies, international neural ethic, ethics society, and some industry members. The IEEE program manager is uh, Sing Kung Hawkins, who uh, works um, uh, with and uh, under uh, Kathy Grice and also uh, Bill. Um, and the primary activities are focused on conferences, uh, competitions, hackathons, publications, education, standards, neural ethics, and the industry alliance. Uh, so I have been the primary engine behind the uh, hackathons, challenges, competitions. Uh, of course, I don't run this alone. Uh, there are many people, uh, industry uh, research leaders in the neurotechnology area uh, who have uh, sponsored and organized competitions all over the world. Uh, the Brain Computer Initiative has been uh, championed uh, by the SMC Society and uh, activities in Europe uh, uh, are, are continuous. Uh, I've been the uh, instrumental uh, person behind the Brain Data Bank, BDB, uh, which is really trying to uh, foster the sharing of uh, gigabit, uh, gigabytes and terabytes of uh, brain uh, information in terms of EEG and images um, all across the world uh, and also as old um, as uh, dated to 1990. Uh, for the future, 2019 onward, because of the results uh, we have generated, um, as you will hear more about that from Jesse, um, directing us to actually incorporate uh, machine learning and uh, uh, incorporating also neural networks into the investigation of brain. Participants have been listed here, primarily graduate students and faculty from universities all over the world and some startup companies. The Industry Alliance is uh, the direction we would like to put more focus moving forward. <coughs> Okay, now uh, I'm going to introduce Jesse uh, Lowell from uh, University of Missouri, Kansas City, U.S. Why uh, Jesse ha and his team from uh, UMKC has been the uh, winner of our last 
BDB competition in Seattle, and they don't get to that point easily. They started in 2016, continue, uh, first time learning, second time cultivating, and the third time in Seattle, they won the first prize. So let me yield the uh, platform to uh, Jesse and see whether I can bring the PowerPoint so you could also show the demo. I think the demo is really the key thing for them to win the first prize. As a result of all these competitions and their uh, University of Missouri um, uh, uh, numerous uh, nights without sleep uh, work, uh, we came to a conclusion and we also like to provide you some future directions to share in terms of brain initiative. So basically we see the need to bridge the gaps between neuroscience and machine learning and we actually would like to accelerate neuroscience productization. That was the whole thrust uh, behind their study, not to reinventing the wheel, but just get a hold of the existing data set and see what we can push it and for the benefit of product development. Uh, the result they have shown is actually a 50% reduction in the number of electrodes, and they found out the interactions be, uh, between the frontal and occipital lobe interactions. Uh, if we have time left, uh, or maybe outside of this conference, uh, this, this meeting, we can show you the 3D uh, real-time demonstration, which we couldn't do it with the uh, PDF file. So we also like to continue this effort and contribute to the IEEE standardization efforts, collaborate with um, various standards organizations, and um, continue working on uh, this for the benefit of consumers. Thank you very much.